One of the ways you can take a look at all of the sounds that you have available to you in your complete library is to use complete control and browse by library. So up here, I can see the All Instruments button. And what I'll do is click on that, and I now have the ability to see all of the different libraries that are installed, all the instruments. Some of them are contact sample libraries. In fact, these days, many of them are. This contact is starting to get pretty powerful and become an environment in itself. But some of them are separate instruments. For example, battery, just like I've got contour up there. So what I can do is pick one of those instruments, pick one of those instruments or instrument libraries, click on it, and now I'll see a list of all of the patches within that library. So I'll scroll down and open up, I don't know, Russian plane. This is a monarch sound, so it's going to automatically start its own version of Reactor, although you wouldn't know it by looking because as far as it's concerned, it's starting what it needs. You don't ever have to worry that it's actually running Reactor to get this sound. And as far as I'm aware, it just opens up that sound for me. All of my Monarch sounds are there. And if I decide, well, you know what? I don't worry about that. I heard that it came with this new instrument, Contour. I really want to jump into Contour and see what kind of sounds Contour has. Well, now I'm browsing all of just the Contour sounds. I open it up, and then again, it's going to load up what it needs to to run Contour. And as I go up or down the patches, you'll see it's switching within Contour's library. So it's going to do that pretty quickly because it doesn't have to reload a whole different audio engine. It's keeping the same audio engine and just changing the sounds within it. And you'll notice that when I move within the same audio engine, the decay and sort of sustains of those sounds will be continued, even though it switches to the new setting. There we go. That's not the only way to browse through. That's just a way that you can browse through worrying just about the instrument you're using and checking out the different patches within that instrument. You can also browse through your library using the types and modes. We'll take a look at that next.